two foot in their graves. How old are you? Seventeen. Apocalypse Now, the 1979 psychological war film directed by Francis Ford Coppola, features disturbing scenes that are all too real. The movie, based on the book Heart of Darkness, stars Marlon Brando, Robert Duvall, Martin Sheen, and many other notable actors. Captain Benjamin Willard, played by Sheen, is tasked with a secret mission to assassinate Colonel Kurtz, portrayed by Brando. Kurtz is a renegade army special forces officer accused of murder and presumed insane. The film's unsettling scenes, including the infamous Du Lung Bridge sequence, are based on actual events from the Vietnam War, making them even more distressing to watch. The reality behind these scenes serves as a stark reminder of the horrors of war. Aren't you curious about that? I'm curious. The screenplay of Apocalypse Now was inspired by Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darknesses, a novel that delves into the darker side of human nature. The film's creators, Francis Ford Coppola and John Milius, adapted the novel to fit the context of the Vietnam War. Milius's fascination with war, despite not being able to serve due to asthma, led him to accept a challenge from a USC professor to adapt the novel. Milius's passion for war and storytelling is evident in the film's exploration of the complexities and horrors of war. The movie follows Captain Benjamin Willard, played by Martin Sheen, as he embarks on a mission to find and kill Colonel Walter E. Kurtz, played by Marlon Brando, who has gone rogue and is leading a group of Montagnard soldiers in Cambodia. The film's portrayal of the Vietnam War is a far cry from the typical heroic narratives that were prevalent during that time. Instead, Apocalypse now presents a raw and unfiltered look at the chaos and brutality of war. The film's iconic scenes, such as the helicopter attack set to Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries, have become etched in the minds of audiences and are now synonymous with the Vietnam War. Milius's adaptation of Conrad's novel to the big screen is a testament to his storytelling prowess. The film's exploration of the human condition, the darkness that lies within us all, and the horrors of war have resonated with audiences for decades and have left a lasting impact on the world of cinema. This classic film's portrayal of the Vietnam War is still relevant today, serving as a reminder of the devastating consequences of war. The movie's enduring legacy is a testament to the power of storytelling and the impact that a single film can have on the world. So, if you haven't yet, step into the world of Apocalypse Now and experience this captivating tale of horror, madness, and the human condition. After the success of the Godfather series, Francis Ford Coppola's production company, American Zoetrope, secured a development deal with Warner Brothers. The original plan for this collaboration was to create a low-budget, pseudo-documentary style film with George Lucas. However, as Coppola's reputation grew, the vision for the project expanded. The initial concept was abandoned in favor of a larger scale production, which would become the classic film Apocalypse Now. This shift in direction was a significant departure from the original plan, but it allowed Coppola to bring his unique vision to life. The final product was a testament to his artistic prowess and marked a milestone in his career. The development of Apocalypse Now was not without its challenges. Coppola faced numerous obstacles during production, including weather issues, budget overruns, and actor health problems. But despite these setbacks, the film persevered and became a landmark in American cinema. In the end, the movie was a far cry from the low-budget pseudo-documentary that was initially envisioned. Instead, it was a powerful and enduring exploration of the human condition during wartime. The film's impact on the world of cinema cannot be overstated, and it remains a classic to this day. You can be terrible, you can be mean. The title of the 1979 movie Apocalypse Now was influenced by California hippie slang, where it meant to reach a state of pure consciousness. Interestingly, the title does not appear in the film's dialogue, but is shown as graffiti, fulfilling copyright requirements. This classic film, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, is a loose adaptation of Joseph Conrad's novella Heart of Darkness. It is set during the Vietnam War and follows Captain Benjamin Willard, played by Martin Sheen, as he is sent on a dangerous mission to find and kill a renegade Green Beret officer, Colonel Walter E. Kurtz, portrayed by Marlon Brando. Apocalypse Now is known for its immersive and intense depiction of the chaos and absurdity of war. The film's iconic scenes, such as the helicopter attack set to Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries, 
have become deeply ingrained in popular culture. The movie's production was fraught with challenges, including extreme weather conditions, budget overruns, and health issues for the cast and crew. Despite these difficulties, Apocalypse Now was completed and released to critical acclaim, earning eight Academy Award nominations and winning two, including for Best Cinematography and Sound. Today, Apocalypse Now is considered a seminal work in the history of American cinema. Its exploration of the psychological and moral complexities of war continues to resonate with audiences, making it a must-see for anyone interested in the art of filmmaking. In the making of this classic, Apocalypse Now! director Francis Ford Coppola faced numerous production challenges. One of the most significant issues was the sheer amount of film shot. Coppola ended up filming an astounding 1.5 million feet of film, an unprecedented amount at the time. This excessive footage posed a significant challenge during the editing process, as it required an enormous amount of time and resources to sort through and compile into a coherent narrative. Interestingly, one of the most memorable scenes in the movie was discovered accidentally among discarded footage. The opening shot, set to the haunting tune of the door song The End, captures an eerie scene of trees and helicopters. This scene sets the tone for the rest of the film, creating an ominous and foreboding atmosphere that permeates throughout. The fact that such a powerful and memorable scene was discovered by chance is a testament to the creative process and the happy accidents that can occur during filmmaking. In conclusion, the production challenges faced during the making of Apocalypse Now were numerous and significant. From the excessive amount of film shot to the discovery of the iconic opening scene, the film's production was fraught with difficulties. However, these challenges ultimately contributed to the film's success, as they allowed for the creation of a powerful and enduring piece of cinema that continues to resonate with audiences today. Marvel. Magnifique. Next thing, they're throwing them. The casting process for Apocalypse Now was no easy task. The film's producers faced significant challenges in finding the right actor to play the lead role of Captain Willard. Initial choices for the part included Steve McQueen, Al Pacino, James Chan, and Jack Nicholson, but all four turned down the role for various reasons. It wasn't until Harvey Keitel was cast as Captain Willard that the production team thought they had found their man. However, after just a few days of filming, director Francis Ford Coppola became concerned of Keitel's performance and made the difficult decision to replace him. Enter Martin Sheen, a relatively unknown actor at the time, who was brought in to take over the part. Sheen's casting proved to be a stroke of genius, as his portrayal of Captain Willard became one of the defining moments of his career. Despite the challenges faced during the casting process, Apocalypse now went on to become a classic of modern cinema, thanks in large part to Sheen's powerful performance as the troubled and complex Captain Willard. The film's exploration of the horrors of war and the human condition continues to resonate with audiences to this day. We took the Vietnamese, work with them, make something. The filming of Apocalypse Now in 1976 was initially set for a 14-week shoot in the Philippines. However, a devastating typhoon swept through the area, destroying sets and equipment, leading to an unforeseen eight-week production how Lieutenant this natural disaster significantly extended the intended filming schedule, causing principal photography to conclude only in May 1977. The post-production phase of this classic film proved to be equally challenging, lasting an additional two years after principal photography wrapped up. The film's complex production process, coupled with the intricacies of editing and special effects, demanded this extended period to ensure the final product met the high standards envisioned by its creators. In summary, the filming of Apocalypse Now was fraught with adversities, including a destructive typhoon that halted production for eight weeks and a lengthy post-production process. Despite these challenges, the movie prevailed and became a significant milestone in cinematic history. Me. How long is it? Despite initial plans to film Apocalypse Now in Vietnam, the production moved to the Philippines due to the country's support. President Ferdinand Marcos provided helicopters and gunships, allowing the film to realistically depict the war. However, the U.S. Department of Defense declined involvement because of the movie's anti-Vietnam war stance. 
This decision showcases the government's reluctance to assist in projects critical of their actions during the war. The use of Filipino resources enabled the production to create an immersive and realistic portrayal of the conflict, despite the government's disapproval of the film's message. This choice of location and military support ultimately shaped the final product, contributing to the movie's enduring impact on audiences. The availability of Filipino military equipment allowed the film to showcase the harsh realities of war, enhancing the viewing experience for audiences. Marlon Brando, the legendary actor, arrived on the set of Apocalypse Now with an unexpected physical transformation. Known for his method acting and intense preparation, Brando's appearance was far from the chiseled physique of a green beret that the character of Colonel Kurtz was expected to have. Brando had gained significant weight, which posed a challenge for the director, Francis Ford Coppola. Instead of insisting on a rigorous weight loss regimen or recasting the role, Coppola decided to adapt the filming technique to maintain the mysterious and imposing presence of Kurtz. He utilized shadows and silhouettes to obscure Brando's physical appearance, a creative decision that deviated from the traditional portrayal of military figures in cinema. This choice added a layer of enigma to Brando's character, making Colonel Kurtz an even more intriguing figure. The audience is left to fill in the blanks, creating a more personal and immersive experience. The focus shifts from Brando's physical appearance to his compelling performance and the character's haunting aura. In the end, Marlon Brando's unexpected appearance led to a unique and memorable portrayal of Colonel Kurtz in Apocalypse Now. The film stands as a testament to the creative problem-solving in filmmaking and the power of performance over physical appearance. Order it in, Sergeant. Mask, ducks, bananas. Uh, it, it. What's wrong? The groundbreaking 1979 movie, Apocalypse Now, is notorious for its distressing scenes that leave a lasting impression. One particularly harrowing moment is the canteen scene, based on a real event, where the chaos of war erupts in a supposedly safe space. The filming of this sequence was a harrowing experience for the cast and crew as they sought to accurately portray the terror and confusion of the situation. Another unforgettable moment in the movie is Martin Sheen's unscripted breakdown, which was captured on film and incorporated into the final cut. This raw and authentic moment adds to the overall sense of unease and tension that pervades the film. Additionally, the slaughter of a water buffalo, filmed without special effects, sparked controversy and received an unacceptable rating from the American Humane Association. This scene, which is part of a local ritual, is a disturbing reminder of the harsh realities of war and the impact it has on local communities. Overall, Apocalypse now pulls no punches when it comes to depicting the horrors of war, and its disturbing scenes are a testament to the film's unflinching commitment to realism. How long has that kid been on his boat? Apocalypse Now, the 1979 movie directed by Francis Ford Coppola, is known for its length and the intense experience it offers viewers. The film is almost three hours long, and certain scenes can be particularly hard to watch. However, its impact and the comprehensive experience it provides make it worth a second viewing or even a first-time watch for those who haven't seen it yet. The movie is set during the Vietnam War and follows Captain Benjamin Willard, played by Martin Sheen, as he is sent on a dangerous mission to find and kill a renegade Green Beret officer, Colonel Walter E. Kurtz, portrayed by Marlon Brando. The film takes viewers on a harrowing journey into the heart of darkness both literally and metaphorically, as Willard and his crew make their way up the Nun River. Apocalypse Now is a classic example of the new Hollywood filmmaking style that emerged in the late 1960s and 1970s. This style was characterized by a rejection of the traditional Hollywood studio system and a desire to tell more complex and challenging stories. The film's length, its intense and often disturbing imagery, and its exploration of the psychological effects of war are all hallmarks of this style. The movie's impact can still be felt today, with many filmmakers citing it as a major influence on their work. Its exploration of the horrors of war and the human condition continues to resonate with audiences, and its iconic scenes and unforgettable performances have made it a lasting classic. In conclusion, Apocalypse Now is a must-see film for anyone interested in the history of cinema or the impact of war on the human psyche. Its length and intense scenes may be challenging, but the comprehensive experience it offers makes it well worth the effort. 
Whether you're watching it for the first time or the tenth, this classic film is sure to leave a lasting impression. Primordial instincts to kill without feeling, without passion. Apocalypse Now, the 1979 movie, was a groundbreaking film that left a significant impact on popular culture. During its time, the movie received mixed reviews, but its intense and thought-provoking portrayal of the Vietnam War made it a classic. The film's exploration of the human condition under extreme circumstances resonated with audiences, leading to its enduring popularity. Its unforgettable scenes and iconic lines, such as I love the smell of napalm in the morning, have become ingrained in popular culture. Apocalypse Now also had a significant impact on the film industry. Its innovative use of sound and visuals, such as the helicopter attack scene set to Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries, pushed the boundaries of what was possible in filmmaking. The movie's influence can be seen in numerous films and TV shows that have followed, including Platoon, Full Metal Jacket, and The Hurt Locker. The film's impact went beyond the big screen. It spawned a spin-off, Hearts of Darkness, A Filmmaker's Apocalypse, a documentary that chronicled the making of the movie. Apocalypse Now also inspired a video game, merchandise, and even a stage adaptation. In short, Apocalypse Now is a classic film that has left an indelible mark on popular culture. Its innovative filmmaking techniques and thought-provoking themes continue to resonate with audiences today. She was here, man. I even wrote to the cunt. She didn't write me back. You can really get it. The casting process for Apocalypse Now, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, was a complex journey. Martin Sheen was an early choice for the lead role of Captain Benjamin Willard. Coppola had been impressed by Sheen's performance in Badlands and was convinced he was right for the part. Sheen, however, had reservations about playing a character who is increasingly unhinged throughout the film. For the role of Colonel Walter E. Kurtz, Coppola initially considered Marlon Brando, but the actor's demanding nature and high fees led to a lengthy search for other actors. Burt Lancaster, Marlon Brando, and Steve McQueen were all considered for the role, but scheduling conflicts and other issues prevented their casting. Eventually, Coppola returned to Brando, agreeing to his high fee and giving him significant artistic control. The role of Lieutenant Colonel Bill Kilgore, the eccentric and ruthless commander of the U.S. Army Helicopter Cavalry, went to Robert Duvall. Duvall was already part of Coppola's circle, having worked with him on The Godfather. His audition involved a chemistry test with Sheen, where they played a scene together to gauge their on-screen dynamic. For the role of photojournalist, Coppola sought a fresh face and discovered Dennis Hopper. Hopper was battling drug addiction at the time, but Coppola saw his potential and took a chance on him. Hopper's unpredictable behavior on set added to the chaotic and intense atmosphere that Coppola wanted to create. The process of casting Apocalypse Now was fraught with challenges, but Coppola's determination and willingness to take risks resulted in a remarkable ensemble of actors who brought the film to life. Bob, who's a The director of Apocalypse Now, Francis Ford Coppola, had a unique vision for bringing Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness to the silver screen, setting it during the Vietnam War. Coppola's approach was deeply immersive, striving to create an authentic experience for both the cast and crew. To achieve this, Coppola chose to film on location in the Philippines, building life-size sets, and even creating a river system to mirror the novel's Congo River. This decision added realism, but also presented numerous challenges, such as harsh weather conditions and logistical difficulties. Coppola's creative influences included the French New Wave movement, which he incorporated through innovative editing techniques and long, uninterrupted takes. He also drew inspiration from experimental films, using visual metaphors and surreal sequences to convey the story's themes. Collaboration was crucial to Coppola's process. He worked closely with his cast, encouraging improvisation and exploration of their characters' psyches. Notably, he cast Martin Sheen as Captain Willard after initially choosing Harvey Keitel, who was later replaced due to creative differences. The film cinematographer, Vittorio Storaro, played a significant role in shaping its visual language. Storaro's use of natural light, color symbolism, and striking compositions complemented Coppola's vision, resulting in a visually captivating and immersive experience. Apocalypse Now's production was fraught with hardships, including Sheen's heart attack, budget overruns, and delays. However, Coppola remained steadfast, believing in his vision and the importance of the story he wanted to tell. 
In the end, Apocalypse Now became a powerful exploration of the human condition amidst the chaos of war, standing as a testament to Coppola's unwavering directorial vision. An hour, that's all. What do you want? Can I get a list of Panama Red with it? Panama Red, yeah, I'll get you Panama Red. Sergeant. The production of Apocalypse Now, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, was a massive undertaking filled with challenges and innovations. The film is set during the Vietnam War, and the set design reflected the chaotic, surreal atmosphere of the war. Production designer Dean Tavalaris aimed to create a world that was both authentic and dreamlike. He drew inspiration from the paintings of Francisco Goya and the photographs of Henri Cartier-Bresson. The result was a set that was a character in itself, reflecting the madness and horror of the war. The film was shot in the Philippines, which posed significant logistical challenges. The production team had to build an entire studio from scratch, as well as create a massive set for the climactic scene, which included a working river and a functioning bridge. One of the most innovative techniques employed during production was the use of helicopters equipped with cameras. This allowed the filmmakers to capture aerial shots that were both stunning and disorienting, reflecting the disjointed experience of war. The production of Apocalypse Now was also marked by extreme weather conditions, political unrest, and health issues. The film's budget ballooned from 12 million to 31 million, and the shoot lasted over a year. Despite these challenges, Apocalypse Now remains a landmark film, known for its immersive set design, groundbreaking cinematography, and powerful performances. The production's logistical challenges and innovative techniques have become a part of filmmaking lore inspiring future generations of filmmakers to push the boundaries of what is possible on screen. Guess he must have hit the right four people. The creation of the Apocalypse Now score and soundtrack was a remarkable journey. Composer Francis Ford Coppola wanted a powerful music experience that would complement the narrative and emotional tone of the film. He turned to renowned composer Carmine Coppola, his father, and rock legend Jim Morrison of The Doors. Carmine Coppola, an accomplished musician, created a traditional score, while Jim Morrison's The Doors provided source music to capture the chaotic, rebellious spirit of the Vietnam War era. Carmine's score was primarily orchestral, with subtle Vietnamese musical elements woven throughout, symbolizing the clash of cultures. Jim Morrison's music, like the end, was used during pivotal scenes, amplifying the character's inner turmoil and the war's destructive nature. The combination of these musical styles created a unique, immersive experience, enhancing the film's anti-war message. Carmine Coppola once shared, I aim to create music that mirrored the character's emotional states, the beauty of the Vietnamese landscape, and the brutal reality of war. The result was a powerful, haunting score that left a lasting impact on viewers. The Apocalypse Now soundtrack also features iconic songs like Fortunate Son, by Creedence Clearwater Revival, and Suspicious Minds by Elvis Presley. These songs, along with The Doors tracks, helped create an authentic, era-specific atmosphere, making the film even more immersive. In the end, the Apocalypse Now score and soundtrack became an indelible part of the film's enduring legacy, a testament to the power of music and storytelling. Hey, you know, man, that was far fucking out. I collected one of the most iconic scenes in Apocalypse Now is the helicopter attack set to Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries. Director Francis Ford Coppola chose to use this music to highlight the chaos and violence of war, while also showcasing the power and precision of the helicopters. The performance of the actors, particularly Martin Sheen as Captain Willard, is intense and focused, adding to the overall impact of the scene. The cinematography by Vittorio Storaro is stunning. The use of natural light and vibrant colors creates a surreal, dreamlike quality that contrasts sharply with the brutal violence of the attack. The low angle shots of the helicopters and the use of slow motion add to the sense of power and invincibility. Coppola has said that this scene was intended to be a commentary on the insanity and the beauty of war. The impact on the audience is visceral and thought provoking. The use of music, performance, and cinematography creates a scene that is both thrilling and disturbing, encapsulating the themes of the film as a whole. Another iconic scene is the meeting between Willard and Colonel Kurtz, played by Marlon Brando. The performance of Brando is mesmerizing, with his quiet intensity and haunting delivery. The cinematography is dark and moody, reflecting the psychological depth of the scene. Coppola has said that Brando's performance was extraordinary, 
and that he was able to convey the madness and the brilliance of Kurtz. The impact on the audience is profound, as the scene explores the nature of power, madness, and the human condition. The final scene, in which Willard is seen drifting down the river, is also iconic. The use of natural sound and the lack of dialogue creates a sense of peace and contemplation, providing a stark contrast to the chaos and violence of the rest of the film. Coppola has said that this scene was intended to be a meditation on war and the human condition. The impact on the audience is one of reflection and introspection, as the scene encourages viewers to consider the themes and messages of the film as a whole. Overall, the iconic scenes in Apocalypse Now are characterized by their powerful performances, stunning cinematography, and thought-provoking themes, making them some of the most memorable and impactful moments in film history. You just get me close to my destination and I'll cut you and the crew loose. Apocalypse Now, a 1979 movie directed by Francis Ford Coppola, made a significant cultural and social impact. The film, set during the Vietnam War, resonated deeply with audiences due to its raw portrayal of the chaos and horror of war. It depicted the psychological turmoil of its characters, offering a profound critique of the conflict. The movie's influence on pop culture is undeniable. Its iconic scenes and dialogues have been referenced and parodied in various media, from television shows to video games. The helicopter attack scene, set to Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries, is particularly memorable. This scene has been homaged in numerous films and shows, demonstrating the film's enduring influence. Apocalypse Now also contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. It explored the concept of the American dream and its collision with the harsh realities of war. The film questioned the moral compass of its characters, prompting viewers to reflect on their own values and beliefs. Moreover, the film delved into the theme of madness, both individual and collective. The protagonist, Captain Willard, is on a mission to terminate with extreme prejudice a rogue Green Beret officer, Colonel Kurtz. As Willard journeys deeper into the heart of darkness, he grapples with his own sanity, reflecting the psychological toll of war on soldiers. Apocalypse Now's depiction of the Vietnam War has also been analyzed in the context of post-traumatic stress disorder. The film was released at a time when societal understanding of PTSD was evolving. It shed light on the long-lasting psychological impacts of war, contributing to public discourse on this important issue. In essence, Apocalypse Now, through its powerful storytelling and thought-provoking themes, left a lasting impact on both cultural and social landscapes. It continues to resonate with audiences today, serving as a stark reminder of the horrors of war and the complexities of the human psyche. Apocalypse Now, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, received critical acclaim upon its release in 1979. The film is a visual representation of the horrors and chaos of the Vietnam War, with a distinct anti-war message. Roger Ebert, a renowned film critic, praised the movie, stating, Apocalypse Now is the greatest film ever made about Vietnam. He commended the film's ability to convey the madness and chaos of the war, highlighting its powerful visuals and immersive sound design. The audience reactions were equally favorable. Viewers were captivated by the film's intense battle scenes, complex characters, and thought-provoking themes. The film's exploration of the human condition under extreme circumstances resonated with many, making it a memorable cinematic experience. Apocalypse Now was also recognized with numerous awards and nominations. It received eight Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture, Best Director, and Best Actor for Marlon Brando. Although it did not win in any of the major categories, it did win for Best Sound and Best Cinematography, highlighting the film's technical prowess. The film's accolades are a testament to the hard work and dedication of everyone involved in its production. For Francis Ford Coppola, the awards and nominations further solidified his status as a visionary filmmaker. The recognition also highlighted the exceptional performances of the cast, particularly Marlon Brando and Martin Sheen, and the outstanding work of the film's cinematographer, Vittorio Storaro. Moreover, the film's enduring impact on the world of cinema is undeniable. Apocalypse Now has transcended its original release and become a classic, a film that continues to captivate audiences and inspire filmmakers today. It serves as a stark reminder of the horrors of war and the resilience of the human spirit, leaving a lasting mark on the annals of film history.
During the filming of Apocalypse Now, the conditions were so intense that they often mirrored the chaotic world depicted in the movie. The production faced numerous challenges, including a typhoon that destroyed the set, forcing the crew to start from scratch. Director Francis Ford Coppola himself grappled with health issues, his weight fluctuating drastically throughout the shoot due to stress and exhaustion. At one point, he even contemplated releasing the unfinished film, feeling overwhelmed by the entire process. Martin Sheen, who played Captain Willard, had a heart attack during the filming of a particularly intense scene. Despite this, he insisted on continuing with the shoot after recovering. Marlon Brando, known for his method acting, arrived on set overweight and underprepared, causing tension with Coppola. His character, Colonel Kurtz, was supposed to be emaciated and terrifying, but Brando refused to shave his head or lose weight for the role. Instead, Coppola decided to use creative camera angles and shadows to conceal Brando's physical appearance. Despite these challenges, the film went on to become a classic, showcasing the brutal realities of war and the psychological toll it takes on those involved. The behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the tumultuous journey of bringing this masterpiece to life. Give me that dog! Give me that dog! No, you're not gonna get it! Give me that dog! No, give me that fucking dog, asshole! Apocalypse Now, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, has left an indelible mark on film history since its release in 1979. This war film, set during the Vietnam War, is a loose adaptation of Joseph Conrad's Heart of Darkness. The movie's raw portrayal of the psychological toll of war on its characters has resonated with audiences and influenced future filmmakers. Apocalypse Now's groundbreaking cinematography and sound design have inspired many filmmakers to push the boundaries of their craft. The film's iconic helicopter attack scene, set to Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries, has been homaged and parodied in various films and television shows. Moreover, the movie's use of practical effects, such as blowing up actual huts and trees, was revolutionary at the time and has since been adopted by modern filmmakers. The film's exploration of the human condition during war has inspired subsequent works that delve into similar themes. For instance, the 2007 film The Hurt Locker, directed by Catherine Bigelow, explores the psychological impact of war on soldiers in a way that is reminiscent of Apocalypse Now. Similarly, the HBO miniseries Generation Kill, based on Evan Wright's book of the same name, examines the experiences of a Marine unit during the Iraq War in a style that is influenced by Apocalypse Now's immersive storytelling. In addition, Apocalypse Now's production itself has become a subject of fascination for film enthusiasts. The film's troubled production, marked by budget overruns, weather issues, and Martin Sheen's heart attack, has been well documented and has become a cautionary tale for filmmakers. The 2001 documentary Hearts of Darkness, a filmmaker's apocalypse, directed by Fax Barr, George Hickenlooper, and Eleanor Coppola, provides an intimate look at the film's production and has become a must-watch for film students and enthusiasts alike. In conclusion, Apocalypse Now's legacy and influence on film history and future filmmaking are undeniable. Its groundbreaking techniques, exploration of the human condition during war, and fascinating production have inspired countless filmmakers and film enthusiasts. The film's enduring impact is a testament to the power of cinema and its ability to captivate audiences for generations to come. I understand that trying is brief you on your requirement to my mission. What? Did you know that the 1979 movie Apocalypse now left a significant impact on cinema and its viewers? We'd love to hear about your personal experiences and memories related to this classic film. How did Apocalypse now influence your perspective on cinema? Did it inspire you, shock you, or make you see things differently? Share your stories with us and other movie enthusiasts. Perhaps you were deeply moved by the powerful performances, or maybe the film's exploration of war and the human condition resonated with you. Whatever your connection to Apocalypse Now, we'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Your engagement helps us create a vibrant community of film lovers. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the enduring power of cinema together. Yeah.